De Silva, former world title challenger, although it probably should have been a uh, very wide uh, unanimous decision for O'Shea Jones, having seen the fight. Miranda Barber last time out scored a four-round unanimous decision over the undefeated Jenna Galliotti in a July of last year. Hoping to score another upset over an undefeated fighter here tonight, although a massive step up in class against O'Shea here tonight. Ooh, nice right hand there from Sugar Shea. Sugar Shea, you see, fighting out of that southpaw position. She's taller, she's longer. She's coming out with that southpaw jab. Barber switched southpaw for a moment there. See Jones maneuvering that left hand around, the body to the head already here in the early going. And O'Shea doing a lot of work from the outside. He's to close that distance a little more before throwing those shots because she's coming up just a little bit short. Nice left hand to the body there. Jones seeing how Barber's reacting to some of these shots. She wanted her to be consistent to the body there. Barber not giving a whole lot in terms of offense. Back to straight out, pulling her head straight back. That body is exposed. Good left hand right down the middle there from O'Shea Jones. Now dinks to the body with a right hand. I like that right hook to the body there from O'Shea. Throws that left hand up top, digs down nice and low. Combination here. Another left hand down the middle. Three in a row there from O'Shea Jones as she digs to the body. In just two minute rounds, work has to be quick, and it was from O'Shea. As we get set for round two to begin, that is not something that you see all that often in boxing. You see the contact lens of Miranda Barber came out during the fight. Chris, a lot of commissions will not allow you to fight with contact lenses in. Clearly the Georgia Commission was cool with it here tonight. But uh, obviously, uh, not a good thing for Miranda Barber to not be able to see out of her left eye for a portion of that opening round. Yeah, you're not allowed to fight with them for good reason. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's something that's in your eye that could potentially cause damage or knocked out and, and delay time. So, yeah, that is that is very rare to see. Ooh, that right hook from O'Shea Jones has really found a home to the head and to the body, setting it up with that straight left hand down the middle. There it is again. One thing we're seeing out of O'Shea Jones, which has really been her hallmark, dating back to her amateur career is that, that fluidity with her upper body. As she's finishing with that first shot, she's rolling under, coming back with another shot immediately. You see it right there. Misses with the left hand, but the right hook to the body comes right behind it. Oh, I like the body work too. Very consistent. Both hands to the body from O'Shea Jones. Beautiful shot right to the soul plexus there. She told us that would be the key in this fight. They were fairly certain about Barber's ability to take shots up top. They mentioned, listen, she's a bare knuckle fighter. She can take punishment up top, but can she weather the storm? Can she handle some of this body work? We're gonna find out because Jose Jones is just hammering Miranda Barber downstairs. Yeah, you can have a good chin, but nobody's got a good liver. Bang that liver enough, I can send you home packing. Good body. 
body work. Love the angles there from O'Shea Jones. Oh, look at that shot. Oh, a level change from Jones and a couple left hands right at the bout. Yeah. You can't play. Superman can play. Wait, 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 wait. My life is never the same. My family depend on me. I think I cut a bus in half. The Sparrow is trying to become one with you. Uh, oh, I forgot how bad it looks. Uh, I've seen worse. I didn't ask for any of this. They will kill us all to get it back. We can do this together. Hey, go away from my sister. Sick. The Beetle, rated PG-13, only in theaters August 18th. Round three underway in our eight-round co-feature between O'Shea Jones and Miranda Barber. It's a tremendous body work from O'Shea Jones in round two, and she picks up right where she left off. See Barber, yeah, being admonished for holding behind the head, pushing the head of O'Shea Jones down. Yeah, these two are just on different levels. You can see O'Shea able to pick off all those shots, counter effectively upstairs and downstairs, really having her way with Barber at this point. A credit to Miranda Barber, who's well aware that she's taking fights against more experienced, more decorated fighters like O'Shea Jones. But she really feels that even in losing effort, she's able to, to learn. But right now, she is taking a beating from O'Shea Jones. You see the knees starting to come up, those instincts from other forms of combat starting to leak in for Barber. But that also could be because you're getting hurt to the body. Right. A lot of times when you get hurt to the body, you'll pick up your knee almost as another defense because you can't get your arms in the place. Oh, those body, that body work. If Shea stays in that body, she might be able to get a TKO here. Barber does not look happy or comfortable. Good angle there from Shea, cuts off to the right. Throws that left uppercut up the middle to the soul plexus once again. Good left hand over the top. That went upstairs from Jones. Yeah, Barber is very much out of her depth. Jones just hammering away to the body. O'Shea just has too much sugar tonight. Cutting angles, dropping down, digging body shots, head shots, letting her hands go on Will. Oh, oh. Dominant round from O'Shea Jones, but right now we're going to send it back to Rebecca Ruber, who's on the Vibe Cam with Elijah Pierce. What emotions are you feeling as you're about to do your walkout as the first main event here at OTX? Uh, excitement, um, a little bit of nerves, but you know, that's expected. Like I said, I, I've been here before, so it's nothing new. What's the message you're trying to send out tonight to everyone watching? To never give up and always be persistent. Like I said, like the quote on my back say, no matter the conditions uh, in the wilderness, a wolf will never eat grass. You know, that means that no matter what, no matter what trials we may face, we always keep pushing. Ultimately, you'll get the reward. If you could describe how this fight's about to go in one word, what would it be? pain. Thank you so much. Best of luck tonight. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Back to you guys. Thank you, Rebecca. Our main event, of course, still to come. Elijah Pierce and Mike Plania. A fantastic match at 122 pounds. Yeah, you said it. I'm very excited for that match at that fight. Round four underway here. O'Shea Jones has been completely dominant against Miranda Barber thus far, and particularly at the end of round three, Chris. You know, credit to Miranda Barber, who's willing to stand there and, and take these shots, but she looked a little bit overwhelmed in terms of figuring out how to reply, how to get out of the way. Yeah, I mean, she has no answer, like I said. that She's completely overmatched. She doesn't have anything to deal with O'Shea, who's too slick, too skilled, too big, too strong. You know, at the end of that round, some of those body shots are starting to have an effect. 
Barber was slowing down, looking like she was getting hurt, picking up her knee. Barber offering a couple of right hands. Barber's tough. She's in there taking the shots, and she's actually coming back this round. Most, most punches I think she's, she's shown all night has been the first minute of this round. Well, to illustrate how dominant O'Shea Jones has been, we take a look at the copy box totals through round three. 44% of what O'Shea Jones has thrown overall has landed. And when you're up in that territory, Chris, that is bad news for the other person you're fighting. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, like I said, it's, there's no comparison in terms of the skill sets. Very easy fight to score. O'Shea is having her way. Jones' last two fights, I mentioned she's fought and beaten a former world title challenger in Simone De Silva and a former world champion in Diana Santana. Of course, both of them certainly in the autumns of their career, but I think it illustrates just how quickly O'Shea Jones could be moved. And we're seeing it again as she is putting a beating on Miranda Barber right now. It's a long-awaited clash of British featherweights as Lee Wood puts his WBA title on the line against Josh Warrington, live from Sheffield on October 7th. You understand? You have to keep your eyes on the body. Don't look away from her. Look at her. Keep sticking her head down. Oh, it has been one-way traffic for O'Shea Jones as we take a look back at the end of the previous round. And a nice scream at the end of the round there, too, after ripping hooks off both hands. The right hook, I think, has been the best weapon tonight for O'Shea Jones. At the end of that round, I think if she starts around that way, she may be able to force the finish in one of these later rounds. Round five begins. This one's scheduled for eight. As O'Shea Jones looks to follow in the footsteps of her fellow Olympians. And one of her close friends, Michaela Mayer, and marching towards a world title. A bit of an awkward exchange there on the inside. I'm not sure both fighters knew whether they were supposed to disengage or continue. I wonder if they were talking to each other, too. So like, oh, hard left hand connects there from Jones. Looks like Barber has opted to just go for it here in the fifth round. And has also opted to start talking to O'Shea Jones as well. And the punch it ain't working. Back to what works. Digging to the body and ripping right hooks upstairs. Jones has talked about her need to control her emotions in the middle of fights. Miranda Barber maybe trying to draw some of that emotion out of her. Well, I don't know how advantageous that will actually be here tonight. I don't think it'll be advantageous at all. I mean, Jones is, is staying focused on what she's supposed to do in there. She's banging the body, she's ripping those shots. She's not letting the talk of Barbara knocked her off her game. If anything, it made her sharpen up. Ooh, good left hand down the middle. About 30 seconds here in round five. Honestly, it seems a few more shots like this, I can see the ref stop in this fight. Especially because they're so one-sided all night long. But Barbara's still playing to the crowd, even as she's getting hit, and right now, if anything, that is the victory for Miranda Barber. She is standing in and taking these shots. Might be overmatched, but she has been brave through five rounds. Oh, you 
spoke about the whole time. I only need you to land it once. Put your fucking head straight. Rinse. The flies on the rinse and split. What happened there is you, you allowed, you allowed, where's the bucket? You allowed, you allowed to, to let off the truck and you had your hands on it. You lock them up. So he does that, lock them up. And you just bend them legs on the inside and let them fucking run. Put your head down. Don't rush, Moran. Okay. Six underway, and I just heard Miranda Barber's corner tell her it, this is the last round, but this one no, is scheduled not. for eight. This is definitely not the last round. They may wish it was the last round. But I will give them the benefit of the doubt that perhaps they're trying to influence her to fight as if it were the last round. It's a tough thing to do when you got to <laughs> when you come back to the corner. Right, listen, to I, to go. Oh, look at this, Miranda Barber. Still complaining to the ref, as O'Shea Jones is still landing punches. And O'Shea trying to land some behind the neck punches as well. Yeah, we talked about O'Shea Jones wanting and needing to control her emotions in the ring. Things getting a little bit messy right here. See if we can get back to more uh, traditional boxing here. I'd like to see O'Shea Jones cut off the ring a little bit here. She's allowing Barbara to escape and get some reprieve because really it's going to be an attrition that breaks her down and gets her out of there, not, not single shots. Barbara's tough, she's taking the punch as well. It's gotta be overwhelming pressure from O'Shea Jones if she's gonna force the stoppage. And if she keeps letting her walk around the ring and, and create space, that's gonna be hard to do. More creative looking shots there from O'Shea Jones a moment ago. Again, she does have to be careful that she doesn't want even if a point deduction won't make much of a difference right now. Oh, and look at this. Was oh. That? O'Shea Jones going into the bag of tricks, deep into the bag. Was that a squat into a punch, Chris? Is that what we saw? Well, she did that several times yeah. throughout the night. And, uh, I liked it. It, it. it led to landing shots. And... Well, there we go. The fighters disengaged. Miranda Barber thought that the referee, I think, would step in. What, what did you see there, Chris? I, I didn't see much. I didn't see what Barber saw, that's for sure. But I saw her take a big shot. There's that dip, got her off balance, landed a nice right hook. And then she let her hands go. She, you saw her, oh, she look at the clock and then unload. She needs to do that more often and earlier in the round. And I think that she could get the, get the result that she was really looking for. thinking that that was the final round of the fight because uh, so did members of the commission. Well, I think it seemed like so did Jones' corner. Right. I mean, they, were, they were saying it too. And, and, and the way that O'Shea ended that round, it just seemed like she thought the fight was over. Right. 
Well, two to go. Whether everyone involved thought <laughs> that there would be two additional rounds or not. Well, it's funny, the two people in here matter the least, you and I, <laughs> knew who the hell that <laughs> that fight actually right. was. See how Jones deals with the pressure of the added rounds. You see the power punches landed from round six. 48% of them from O'Shea Jones landing. 29 of 42, just four from Miranda Barber connecting in round six. As Jones meets Barber once again with a straight left hand. Yeah, again, I think I think when Jones goes back and watches. She'll notice how much she's following Barbara around the ring and not cutting her off. She was taking a little bit of step to her right and, and putting Barbara in the corner. That's what being a ring general is all about, being able to control the space in the ring, put your opponent where you want them. Well, Instead and, of just following her around and beating her up. And credit to Miranda Barber, who again is a, a multi-disciplined fighter for whom even going the distance here tonight means another opportunity. And especially in a weight class like 154, where there will be fighters who need opponents, there will be opportunities for Barber in boxing, as there have been in the other disciplines she participates in. I would be surprised if there was TV opportunities attached to that based on this performance, but I guess you're a right to a degree. Combination to the body once again from O'Shea Jones, and that does it for round seven. feature between O'Shea Jones and Miranda Barber. And once again, we remind you about the monetary incentive dangling for fighters if they score a knockout in either the first or final round. And you'd have to think, if you're O'Shea Jones, who's met little resistance thus far here, Chris, why not just go all out? Yeah, I don't, Barber has not shown anything that could hurt Jones other than perhaps maybe a headbutt or an abrasion from her braids, but I think that Shea should just go for it. Let those hands go, rip and rip from the opening bell of this round. Well, it is very clear from watching this, as you would expect when it comes to an Olympic medalist, that you know, O'Shea Jones is certainly past this level, way past this level already, but the difficulty, you know, when you're at the stage in her career that she's in and 3-0, and oh, where does the seasoning come from before you start getting in the ring with the top 147 and 154 pounders? And that has been and will be the difficulty for the, the brain trust in matching O'Shea Jones right now. Well, it's got to happen in the gym because at the, at, in these weight classes, there's just the talent pool just isn't that big. So you're forced at a very early point of your career to fight top-level women. So she's going to have to do, get it in the gym, that seasoning that you're talking about. Because in terms of fights, I mean, these kind of fights aren't going to season her. And she's going to be fighting very, very top-level world-class opponents soon. Pretty quickly, exactly. More shots to the body there from O'Shea Jones. Oh, nice Body. angles. Body work from Jones all night long has been fantastic. Yeah, Jones looks like she's hitting a heavy bag. Literally doing punch drills. Final moments of the contest. And 
Jones digs into the bag of tricks one more time. And that will do it. Miranda Barber goes the distance, but O'Shea Jones absolutely dominant from bell to bell. Ladies and gentlemen, after going the distance inside the OTX ring, all three judges are in complete agreement with identical scores of 80 to 72 in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. And now, the owner of the NABF Super Welterweight title, still undefeated, Sugar Shay O'Shea Jones!